This is what professional colorists don't want you to know about DaVinci Resolve. Four DCTLs that solve the real problems holding back your color grade. These tools give you professional results without qualifiers or node trees, so you spend less time troubleshooting and more time getting the look you want. They handle what built-in tools can't. Fixing flat skin tones, controlling density and restoring shadow detail. Everything works through simple sliders and you never have to worry about artifacts or noise. For example, with the color slider mask, you'll see that DaVinci sometimes reads green as yellow, which explains why your grades can look off. If you've ever wondered why your colors never match your vision, you're about to see exactly where the process breaks down. The ultimate color control. Let's break down what actually happens when you try to control color in Resolve. Traditional grading forces you into qualifiers and multiple nodes just to tweak a single hue. And they often pick up unwanted areas, like when you isolate a red jacket and end up affecting highlights on skin tones. Even after all that setup, a slight hue adjustment can throw off your mid-tone density or shift other colors unexpectedly. DaVinci Resolve's color engine can misinterpret certain hues without a visual mask, leading to frustrating back and forth tweaks. Sometimes our eyes see green where DaVinci reads yellow. This tool's mask feature shows you exactly where each hue really sits. The Color Slider DCTL eliminates that hassle. With this tool, you get direct intuitive control over hue, saturation, and density for any color range using just three sliders. There's no need to fight with qualifiers or build out complex node trees. When you activate the mask feature, you instantly see a visual overlay that reveals how DaVinci interprets each color in your frame. The areas highlighted by the mask are exactly where your adjustments will apply so you know what you're changing before you even touch a slider. Unlike qualifiers, the Color Slider DCTL will won't introduce noise, banding, or artifacts, even with aggressive changes. You can push magenta into your shadows or deepen the blues in a sky without losing detail or affecting skin tones. The density slider in particular lets you add richness and depth to colors in a way that standard saturation controls can't match. This approach replaces what would usually take three or four nodes with just three targeted sliders, and your adjustments copy perfectly between shots. No more retweaking every time. This kind of precision and efficiency opens up new possibilities for matching your creative intent, and it sets the stage for tackling the next challenge, getting that true cinematic color density that makes movie images stand apart from video. Cinematic saturation redefined, film achieves depth and nuance in color through subtractive dye layers. While most digital saturation tools simply boost intensity additively, often flattening contrast and making images look artificial. The Movie Density DCTL takes a different approach by emulating the way film stock layers, cyan, magenta, and yellow dyes, allowing you to manipulate color density rather than just increasing saturation across the board. This method preserves the relationship between hues and maintains the dimensionality that makes film images stand out. With the Movie Density DCTL, you control each primary dye channel independently. Use the mask to isolate blues or greens without spillover so you can deepen skies or bring out subtle color shifts in shadows without affecting surrounding tones. As you adjust, start with around 5 to 10% density per channel. This mirrors the careful approach of film timers and helps preserve color nuance. From there, refine each channel as needed to match your creative intent. A key feature of subtractive density is that decreasing it makes certain colors appear brighter while naturally deepening contrasting areas, creating separation and depth similar to film. For example, lowering cyan density keeps teal shadows rich while warming up skin tones. So standard saturation tools can't achieve this balance and often flatten the image or push highlights into unnatural territory. The DCTL keeps hue into play intact, so if you enrich magenta, purples become deeper without turning skin or highlights pink or orange. All of these adjustments happen with three sliders, no qualifiers, no curves, and no need to chase spill or inconsistency between shots. This workflow mimics the balanced saturation and rich blacks of Vision 3 stock without multiple qualifiers or curve tweaks. You get subtle gradations and color harmony even at extreme settings. Density is just one part of the cinematic puzzle. There's another area where digital tools struggle to match film, especially when it comes to how skin tones look under different lighting conditions. Perfect complexions. Every time Skin Match DCTL is designed to restore the natural complexity of skin that digital sensors often miss. Digital sensors collapse subsurface scattering into flat RGB values. Skin Match recreates that filmic translucence, so complexions look real instead of plasticky or waxy. Common fixes like qualifiers or global adjustments take time, often bleed into backgrounds, and can create inconsistent results between shots. With Skin Match, the tool isolates only the skin regions in your image and applies subtle film style corrections. When you turn on the mask overlay, you'll see three color indicators, orange for perfect matches, yellow for close tones, and blue for areas needing adjustment. This three color mask is built in, no manual qualifiers, so you instantly see where skin is perfect, orange, acceptable, yellow, or off blue. 
Adjust the hue and brightness sliders until the orange coverage matches the skin areas in your frame. This process digitally restores the depth, warmth and translucency that film and natural skin have. For best results, apply Skin Match as your final node so it analyzes unaltered skin data. The DCTL adapts automatically to lighting conditions and sensor differences, so you can copy the same settings across an entire scene with consistent results. If you have backlit shots, it compensates for cooler shadows. Under warm key lights, it preserves golden tones without oversaturating. No need to tweak qualifiers or chase spill for every angle. This single DCTL replaces three qualifiers and two hue versus curves notes without noise or artifacts. It maintains natural transitions between highlights and shadows, so cheeks gain luminosity without blowing out and shadows keep their density. The hue slider lets you fine tune blood tones without pushing skin into unnatural orange or magenta territory, avoiding the pitfalls of generic lutes. Once skin looks right, you can focus on another area digital video often mishandles like shadows. There's a specific way film stock builds shadow depth and texture, and digital tools usually miss it. Film Fade DCTL addresses the challenge of digital shadows by emulating the way film stock produces gradual, nuanced roll-off. Digital shadows either crush to black or reveal noise when lifted. Film's chemical process, however, leaves a milky grey roll-off with preserved detail. The Film Fade DCTL rebuilds film's shadow roll-off algorithm, mathematically reconstructing how film responds to underexposure. This means the darkest parts of your image regain complexity with subtle variations in black levels that standard digital capture loses. The built-in curve overlay provides instant feedback so you can see exactly which tonal ranges are being affected and avoid accidental changes to mid-tones or highlights. For practical use, set the shadow slider between 5-15% for optimal roll-off, watch the mask overlay to ensure only the deepest shadows are being lifted. This approach lets you restore lost detail without sacrificing contrast or introducing banding. The DCTL also gives you independent RGB controls, allowing you to introduce subtle color tints that mirror specific film stocks. A slight cyan tint emulates modern stocks like Fuji, while a touch of amber recreates classic Kodak warmth. Unlike global tint tools, these adjustments only affect the deepest shadows, maintaining color separation and preventing bleed into skin tones or mid tones. The algorithm uses non-linear mathematical reconstruction so you get smooth organic transitions without the need for manual curve nodes or power windows. Everything stays consistent across your timeline and you can copy settings between shots without worrying about degradation or mismatch results. Shadows keep their depth and texture even in underexposed or high contrast scenes. This single DCTL gives you consistently detailed filmic shadows across your entire timeline. No curve nodes or power windows needed. With Film Fade DCTL in your workflow you have the final piece for achieving a true filmic look alongside the other tools we've covered. These four DCTLs, Color Slider for precise hue control, Movie Density for filmic saturation, Skin Match for natural complexions, and Film Fade for organic shadow roll-off, replace most traditional grading tools and deliver consistent results. You get targeted adjustments without qualifiers or node trees, all in a streamlined workflow that matches professional film looks. Grab your free demos in the description and start grading without qualifiers today. If you found these tools game-changing, hit like, subscribe, and check the links below. Join the community of filmmakers leveling up their grades with these DCTLs. See you in the next tutorial.